Hey there, YouTubers! Sheep here. So you're probably pretty confused by the opening skit if you don't have a lot of experience with black holes. However, have no fear. After today, that joke will make a lot of sense. So today, we will discuss what a black hole is, where they come from, where, where they're, what happens if you fall into one, and much, much more. So sit back and relax as we journey into the cosmos and beyond to learn about these invisible, inescapable cosmic death traps. So what is a black hole? Well to understand them we first have to know where they come from. So in my videos on my video on stars I discuss how black holes are formed. For those of you that don't want to watch the whole video here's the rundown. So as supermassive stars run out of fusible material their cores get denser and denser as the equilibrium that keeps the star a star becomes unbalanced. The core of the star collapses in a violent explosion called a supernova. At the core of the star, the pressure becomes so great that no forces in the universe can match the crushing force of gravity. The matter is pushed closer and closer and closer together until it can't take any more and collapses into a black hole. At the center, you can find a singularity. This is where the density and escape velocity reach infinity. However, there is another line that we can mark before we reach this point. This is the event horizon. This is where the escape velocity is the speed of light. Thus, nothing with mass can escape this point, and our equations to understand the universe begin to break down. There is another point before this that is even crazier to think about. This is the photon sphere. At this point, photons can orbit the black hole and make circles. If the photon bounces off the back of your head and goes around the black hole into your eye, you can see the back of your head. However, this orbit is extremely unstable. Now, don't think about this too long or else you'll drive yourself into madness like I have. To better understand this concept of no return, I have a model to show you. You're probably wondering why I have this plastic here. That's because you can think of this as the fabric of space. Space is three-dimensional. I know. But the effect gravity has on it can be represented in two, kind of. So if I place a heavy object on this plastic, you can see a little indent in the plastic. This is the effect gravity has on space. This is also why objects thrown horizontally on a planet curve downward. They're following the curved shape of space. This shape is also referred to as a gravity well. It's mentioned a lot when talking about how to build rockets or single stage to orbit vehicles but it isn't too important for this subject. Now, black, now back to black holes. If I place a black hole simulator on the plastic, it stretches the, black, the plastic until it pokes a hole in it. To our current knowledge, this is what a black hole does to the fabric of space. This hole is a singularity. Now before I move on from this model, if you want to know more about why objects follow that curve, horizontally on a planet, then I recommend Vsauce's video on which, which way is down. He really goes in depth about it and does an amazing job of explaining it. Why, hello there. I have my fun fact book. I'm in my fun fact chair. That means it's time for a fun fact. As you can probably see, I've changed. That's because I accidentally deleted the footage for the black hole fun fact. Oops. So, what is today's fun fact? Well, the center of every galaxy that we know of, there is a supermassive black hole. And black holes were once theoretical. And as of the 14th of April, which it is, like, a few seconds ago, actually, black holes aren't theoretical anymore. They're 100% real. We took a picture of one. Even though they absorb all visible light. Isn't that just fascinating? Now what happens when you fall into a black hole? 
Yes, I know. There are tons of videos online talking about this. What if you could survive the event horizon? What would you see as you approach the singularity? That's just outlandish and just darn right silly. The closest I'll go is the photon sphere. But I've already explained that. So what would happen as you approach the event horizon? Well, if you went feet first, your feet would start to accelerate faster than your head, which is further away. Now this principle is represented by this equation. F, force, is equal to G, the gravitational constant, which is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th, times the mass of object 1, times the mass of object 2. That whole quantity divided by R, the distance between the objects, squared. This equation shows as the distance increases, the force felt decreases, not linearly, but squared. So as the feet accelerate faster than your head, the forces become so great that you're ripped in half. Those halves are ripped in half, and so on and so forth, until you're just a stream of atoms being consumed by the black hole. This process is called, and I'm not joking here, spaghettification. So hopefully that skit at the beginning makes sense now. That's it for what happens to you. You're just what atoms. And you can probably tell us a lot of time left in this video. That's because I have one last thing to talk about. This last part has to deal with a formula used to calculate the size of black holes with a specific mass, of course. This formula is used often when talking about shrinking technology and sci-fi. One channel that features this very often is because science. Now, what's this called? This is the Schwarzschild radius. This equation represented as Rg is equal to 2 times g, the gravitational constant, which we discussed earlier, times mass, m, and all of that is divided by c, the speed of light, squared. The speed of light is, of course, 299,792,458 meters per second. Using this fun equation, we can learn all kinds of things. For example, how big of a black hole could you make the mass of the Earth, or the Sun, or anything you know the mass for? Now granted, a black hole has to be, have a set size or is unstable and breaks down to Hawking radiation incredibly quickly. But that's another topic for another video. In the meantime, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please check me out on Instagram for exclusive content and more. Please like, comment, and share new videos every other Friday, 4.30 p.m. Central Time, and good night. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? Well, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know every time I post. And while you're there, check out the playlist. Oh, you're still not satisfied? Well, then check out my Instagram for exclusive content. And if you really want to help me out, you'll stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet watch time. Bye.